The biggest lessons I've learned in my life are here. Through different topics, I'm going to inspire and motivate you to reach your success and your dreams. I'm so grateful that you're here on Journey to Success. So let's enjoy my next episode together. Hi guys, my name is Fabio from the Fabio Podcast Journey to Success and today we're going to talk about this uh, person uh, who died. <laughs> His name was Jim Rohn, but it was very important in the motivational speaking uh, environment and uh, I'm sure that most of the people don't know who who, who was this guy, uh, but was uh, no less the coach of uh, Tony Robbins just you have a you you have an idea so i'm going to talk a little bit about uh, his journey of success from wikipedia and uh, also from uh, another website the name of the website is uh, topresultsacademy.com and uh, let's start let's see wikipedia what uh, what uh, it says about it so Emmanuel James Rohn, he born uh, on September 17, 1930, uh, he died on December 5, 2009. So professionally known as Jim Rohn, was an American entrepreneur, author and motivational speaker. Early life, Emmanuel James Jim Rohn was born in Yakima, Washington, to Emmanuel and Clara Rohn. So the Rohns owned and worked a farm in Cadwell, Idaho. Uh, where Jim grew up as an uh, only child. He was born to a poor family. It is very important to, to hear. You know, it's always nice to hear um, about people who, yeah, who achieve success, but they had nothing uh, to, 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 I mean, they had no tools at the start. You know, most of the times uh, people say, yeah, uh, you achieve success or he achieved success because the aunt or the uncle of the father um, is famous or because the friend had money, blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, yeah, it doesn't work like that always. Of course, there are exceptions and uh, who knows, maybe uh, this situation where there is this, uh, you know, uh, parenthood thing um, it's not unusual in this world but it's not always like that okay so he was born to a poor family became a millionaire at age 30 went broke when he was 33 he later became a millionaire again uh, Ron left college after one year this is also interesting uh, uh how the life works, right? Uh, we uh, hear every time uh, um, uh, we listen uh, uh, people around us and they push us to do certain things, uh, to make uh, certain choices. Uh, but the truth is that if you look at a little bit around, you actually can notice um, that most of the successful people... Uh, uh never did a college or maybe they they left uh, now i'm not saying that the college or university um or academies are not good not at all but for sure it's not so fundamental as people think it depends what you like to do in your life because it, of course if you like to i don't know to to teach or let's say to teach uh, uh, bah, let's say uh, medicine or if you like to become a doctor or an engineer right so in that in that case <laughs> university may be fundamental uh, but it's not always like that so Ron left college after one year career he started his professional life as human resource manager for 
Sears. Around this time, a friend invited him to a lecture given by entrepreneur John Earl Schoff. In 1955, Ron John Schoff's direct selling business, Abunda Vita, as a distributor. In 1957, uh, Ron designed his uh, distributorship with Abunda Vita and joined Nutri Bio, another direct, direct selling company. The company founders, including Chef, started to mentor him. After this mentorship, Ron built one of the largest organizations in the company. In 1960, when Nutri Bio expanded into Canada, Chef and the other founders put Ron in charge. Of the organization. After Nutribio went out of business in the early 1960s, Ron was invited to speak at his Rotary Club. He accepted and soon no order began asking him to speak at the various uh, uh, luncheon and uh, other events. In 1963, at the Beverly Hills Hotel, he gave his first public seminar. He then began presenting seminars across the country, telling his story and teaching his personal development philosophy. Um, in the 1970s, uh, Ron conducted seminars for Standard Oil. At the same time, he participated in a personal development business called Adventures in Achievement, which uh, features uh, live seminars and personal development workshops. He presented seminars worldwide for more than 40 years. Ron mentored Mark uh, Hughes, the founder of Herbalife International and life strategies, strategies to Tony Robbins in the late 1970s. Others who credit Ron for influencing their career include authors uh, Mark Victor Hansen and Jack Canfield, uh, Chicken Soup Book Series. Everton Edwards, Hellmark Innovator Conglomerate, Bri Brian Tracy, mm -hmm. very important name, Todd Smith, and Harv Eker. Ron uh, uh, co author of the uh, novel 12 Pillars with Chris uh, Wildener. Ron was the uh, recipient of 1995 National Speakers Association, a CPAE, Award for Excellent in Speaking. He's the author of 70 written audio and video media, including The Power of Ambition, Take, uh, Take Charge of Your Life, and The Day That Turns Your Life Around. Many of his speeches are available for free on social media platforms like YouTube and East Instagram. So if you like to know more about it, you know, you can always look around without spending so much money like we used to do. Uh, Jim Rohn died of pulmonary fibrosis on December 5, 2009. He's born in Forest Lawn Memorial Park in uh, Glendale, California. So, uh, what... Uh, what, what was uh, his works? So we're talking about uh, five books, I guess. Uh, on Wikipedia here, he mentioned it mentions as works. So I guess there are all of them books. Uh, seven strategy for wealth and happiness: power ideas from Americans for most business philosopher. Second point: my philosophy for successful living: the power of ambition. The, season of, the Seasons of Life, and 12 Pillars of Success. Very famous book, some, something that I'm truly advising you. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about, um, still, about Jim Rohn, no? but uh, via this uh, website, uh, topresultsacademy.com, just have a look. It's beautiful website. Uh, it talks about successful people uh, who, um, who who uh, teach and learn first learned uh, and then uh, teach to other people to how how to achieve success. And uh, but here we're talking about Jim Rohn. So let's talk let's still talk about Jim Rohn. I'm gonna jump some parts since we know something about him. Um so 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 Jim Rohn biography, okay, he was very good, self-improvement and uh, is a subconscious call for all. Okay, that's a good introduction. That's correct. Even for those who very rarely acknowledge it and also for those who openly realize it to their conscious mind. 
Okay, the story of Jim Rohn, who was born on uh, September 17, 1913, this we know already, and uh, led an exemplary life as an American who was both an entrepreneur and an author. And here there is a beautiful image on uh, on this website. Uh, just imagine a mountain, right? Then there is this arrow. Uh, this arrow start from the ground. Uh, up the um, uh, up up the top of the mountain. So and then it's a then the, the the writer of the article he wrote uh, this sentence. How did he do that? So how did Jim Rohn uh, became so successful and became a millionaire? Mm? Uh, let's continue. Before we go through, if you're enjoying this podcast, please consider taking just three seconds to share it with someone else. It is a small gesture that could make a big difference in someone's day. Now, sit back and enjoy the rest of the episode. The website, the article says... His highly influential and uh, succoring speeches warmed the hearts of millions of people. So evidently he used to know how to reach the people. He was very good on um, uh, on making good speeches. Uh, but also this guy is like, hmm, yes, it was very good, sure. But I don't know, no one is really talented well there are talented people in this world uh sure but most of the people think that the people who achieve success achieve success because are talented people it's not always like that doesn't really work like that okay so most of the times uh, you achieve success because you have a good uh, persistence consistent you know how to take punch uh, uh, you understand that failure is part of the process and then uh, every time you uh, go up uh, queen, so uh, I would say quindi is an Italian word but <laughs> so every time you um, uh, you reach uh, the crisis every time you fell then you reach the crisis uh, but then you 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 re- you recover and you are a little bit better than before, okay? That's how works success. Most of the times, uh, that's how people achieve success. And of course, there are talented people. Jim Rohn uh, was a talented person. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know the answer, of course. Mm, who knows? Maybe in this article we're gonna we're gonna discover better, but for sure he knew how to achieve success and he knew how to teach to the people how to achieve success. So, although it was dirt poor to start with, his relentless efforts and determination achieved him a great success and comfort. See. Evidently, uh, it wasn't that good at the start. Ron spent more than 40... And this makes also sense, because if you want to teach something and uh, you want to teach something very well, uh, let's be honest, uh, you have first to experience, you know, in a bad and in a good way. Uh, Ron spent more than 40 years of his life widening the horizons of possibility with his uh, uh, artistic and simply ingenious design of ideas. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, Ideas. uh, Those assisting many to recognize new and wonderful things relative to the strategies in life. Okay, 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 okay. His eloquent speeches. Uh, okay, we understood that he was good in speeches. That's perfect. Anyway, uh, there is an uh, if infographic here. Very interesting. Uh, if you push the button, so if you do download now and you you insert your email, 
then you download the full infographic about it. It's very interesting. It talks about uh, Jim Rohn's life wisdom still, um, and it looks like uh, uh, he used to uh, think about uh, success um, as uh, for the four seasons of life uh, about a person. Okay, uh, what does it mean? Uh, the first step, the first season is the winter. So in the winter, you know, um, just the winter, it's cold. Uh, generally, it's cold now with this uh, global warming. Uh, it's not that uh, cold so much, but let's let's avoid this for now in this episode. <laughs> but let's say that winter generally is cold. So there is this poopy here, this man with the sword and the shield. Uh, and then there are these two words, right? These keywords, persevere and learn to survive. And uh, that is what we do in the winter, right? So we uh, take a jacket, uh, we try to be warm, uh, and uh, we, 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 we like to be in the house because we know that outside is cold. Um, that's also uh, what happens when someone wants to achieve success, right? So uh, he, the person who likes to achieve success, he, 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 he starts to study the tool and uh, he starts to learn to understand how to achieve uh, um, that important thing uh, that is going to lead this person uh, uh, to reach success, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So there is a kind of preparation at the start. Uh, second season, spring. Uh, so there is this puppy uh, who like to, uh, you know, to throw some seeds on the ground. Um, also here we have two keywords, two phrase phrases in this case. Uh, plant the seeds. Use the window of opportunity. Also, this is very interesting. I mean, uh, use the window of, of opportunity. So you have your tools, so you learn uh, what you had to learn to to achieve uh, certain things. and uh, But then, of course, uh, you have to, to, to wait. You have to, uh, you have to understand that to achieve uh, fully whatever you want to achieve, uh, you still have to cultivate uh, a lot of knowledge and uh, to understand how to achieve that success. Then we have summer. So in summer, we have grow and gain strength, uh, nourish and protect. Uh, just imagine, right? Imagine you are doing some uh, Facebook ads and uh, so you learn how to do Facebook ads finally, and uh, you're very happy about how you learn the tool. But I mean, grow and gain strength. So th the thing that you have to do is just test your advertisements. Maybe you're going to do some A B test. Uh, so then you're going to choose more and more the, 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 the best uh, advertisement that is going to lead you to the real success. This is the summer. It's going to take you some time, but uh, it's fundamental to, to reach success. And then we have the fall. All right, in the fall, of course, uh, you can reap the benefits of hard work. And then you see this puppy totally happy because on the ground you see uh, he 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 sees uh his trees and the apple and uh yeah i hope you look happy because uh, these puppies they don't have uh, eyes or a face like a face but yeah i'm sure is happy which season are you going through now in your life that's the question which one of course uh that's is an answer that you have to uh, figure out uh, only yourself. And uh, I just would like to say, you know, and uh, please answer in the comments, but we're in the podcast, so you cannot do. And I'm sorry about it. <laughs> they did not meant something very uh, useful and beautiful to connect, connect with the community. 
and we are in 2023. But anyway, it's hard to burn a midnight oil when bright future is not guaranteed. So this is another part of the infographic. So most people have no faith. Be different. Believe. Have courage. Burn the midnight oil. Burn the midnight oil. Well, I guess means that you have to go forward. Of course, if you believe, if you have courage, so you have no... Uh, afraid to fail you have just to you know uh, to hit the in Italy there is a say hit the iron while it's warm hmm? uh, who knows maybe the general says but that's what I that, that's what this infographic uh, uh, likes to uh, to say to, to the people so it's hard to burn midnight oil when bright future is not guaranteed but to of course to uh, resolve that to go through about it just do differently okay just have faith believe 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 have courage and in this way you you can burn uh, the midnight oil don't wish for less problems wish for more skills don't wish love, uh, don't wish life would be easier wish you would be better don't wish life would be easier so true uh, wish you, you would be better but to be better you have to learn and uh, to learn you have to also f- uh, fail because you cannot learn without failing uh, you are the average of five people you spend most of your time with. You are the average of five people you spend most of your time with. This is very interesting. So, who are these people in your life? Uh, of course, uh, guys, I mean, if you like to achieve success and uh, uh, five of your people around you are people who... Uh, I don't know who who use uh, who used to sell drug. I don't know why I say that, but I mean you understood. It's it, you are not gonna achieve success. You are gonna understand how to sell drugs. Like you know what I mean. So that's <laughs> it. Looks so stupid, but it's true. Like it's so true. It's so true if you think about it. It's so true if you are with a person, if you are with a person that uh, he likes to eat and go to the restaurant and uh, uh, he likes food and uh, you are uh, you are his or her partner. It's I think it's heavy for you to to be healthy, you know, or not. I mean. It's the same concept. So if you are instead with a person who likes to eat in a certain way, maybe in a vegetarian way, and um, or vegan, or simply in a balanced way, talking about uh, animal protein, well, in the case, also you are going to be better. I mean, it's a circle. We, we do this indirectly. So... Yeah, I mean, if it's very, uh, it's very, it's very simple to understand that the people around us, uh, they just um, influence us directly and directly. Who do you need to spend more time with? Uh, so, what is? So what w- what is the 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 that that person that environment who's gonna teach you to understand how to achieve success and at the end who to spend less time with this is very beautiful because here um, here we're not talking about stop the relationships with the people uh, around you people who don't teach you how to achieve success but at least balance a little bit right so understand who is the one who teach you how to achieve success and he's the one who teach you how to uh how to sell drug okay and don't do uh i mean it's very very bad if you sell or buy drug 
Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Uh, early years. Early years. A farm vo- boy. This is very interesting. So Jim Brown was raised in a farm in Idaho and had none of the interests of wealthy family. His mother, Claire, and father, Emmanuel, sent him to his local school where he decided the only thing he was gaining was the knowledge of sound convention. His storytelling skills... Well, I see, he had uh, storytelling skills then. Gifted to him by his father, did not a AI much in providing him much initiative of who he intended to be. So he insisted that he was not learning that which he wanted to learn. So things about life. He left college only after a year and uh, settled for a real life job. However, uh, this left him completely bankrupt and heavily in debt and monetarily by the age of 25. <laughs> Wow, I don't understand why in the infographic he wrote be courageous, you know. I mean, if you are really in depth in the age of 25, you really need to be brave. Journey to the top. By this time, Ron wasn't only a husband but also a father and did not have much perspective of what he was going to do next. He was invited to a seminar by Earl Schoff by a friend while he was still consistently struggling to find ways to provide for his family. Okay, this is kind of what Wikipedia say, but just in more... Uh, in in a more uh, a specific way. Also here, there's a beautiful infographic with a mountain uh, and there is, uh, I guess, a Jim Rohn. Uh, I say I guess because these poopies are all the same. So Jim Rohn who tried to climb the 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 mountain uh, and then there, there is worked hard. There is... Uh, oh, 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 oh. So early years. Okay, so it's a continuum uh, so these images are uh, are part of a story. Okay. Ah, uh, but it's right. It's very good in this article. So, it, so it 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 is like that. Just imagine first this uh, Jim Rohn, uh, ch- 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 let's say ch- ch- child in a farm. So it says a farm boy. Then there is a mountain, uh, and the Jim Rohn was blinding the mountain. So him farm boy worked hard to build a career. So this is the third image with Jim Rohn. Uh, I guess happy, you don't really understand, uh, and achieve insane results. And then you see Jim Rohn with a beautiful trophy. Um, inspired millions, leaving a legacy for generations to come. Okay, so a farm boy worked hard to build a car- career and achieved insane results. Inspired millions, leaving a legacy for generations to come. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to continue to read. Uh, uh, where was I? Recall? Uh-huh. Where was I? Oh, yeah. He was invited to a seminar by Erlashov by a friend while he was still consistently struggling to find ways to provide for his family. From that point onwards began a five-year-long step-by-step journey for Ron to find his inner self. Okay, Shov was the one who helped uh, Jim Rohn. Okay, something we read already on Wikipedia. Um, Shof had personally started coaching Rohn with the fundamental principle of life, such as prioritizing personal growth above a mere job. So, prioritizing personal growth above a mere job, registering philosophy behind income rather than economy, the most important of all, in order for change to be brought about in life, you must begin with altering your own self. Okay, so you literally you have to work hard to be to become whatever you want to be. Uh, those Ron adapted to his new way of life, the constant path of self improvement, the, the realization that he could achieve anything and everything that he desired with the application of the accurate craftsmanship gave him firm ground to stand on. Ron started off as a mere 
clerk at the department store. However, he mentally acknowledged that something would be better than nothing and to have some amount of profit would certainly be more appreciable as compared to wages. It seems that the final stage of Shoff's life had been uh, uh, decided to serve as a guiding force for Rhone by an entity uh, uh, an entity mightier than all because before Shoff died at the age of 49, exactly five years after the first meeting. Okay, uh, Rhone became a millionaire only one year. The only, only year following this... Okay, this is not interesting. Okay, okay, let's go forward. In the 1960s, uh, Ron uh, migrated off Beverly Hills in Calif and narrated his uh, expedition in a local Rotary Club meeting. Recalled that Ron had always pos uh, possessed absorbing storytelling skills and the tales he told under the title Ida Farm Boy Make It to Beverly Hills. Appease it all those who listen it. This gave him invitation to speak at schools, college, and even uh, meetings at various services clubs. 1963, Ron began speaking on a regular basis, and from there on, he slowly became recognized as an international speaker and a renowned figure in the Department of Personal Assistance all across the globe. Right, career. Career lights, Rohn had the most incidental life ever since he entered the realm of self-improvement. His career assisted millions in gaining an insight as to who they wish to be and his contribution to the world in this regard remains unmatched. Being an author, an entrepreneur and a millionaire who had started from scratch, Rohn was determined determined to assist people around him achieve a life that which they wished. His seminars continued for a total number of 39 years, during and excluding which he addressed and influenced approximately 4 million of people, 4 million people across the world, that being in total of 6,000 audiences. Jim Rohn won the CPAE over the 1985, I don't know what it is, from the National Speakers Association. Association. He wrote more than 25 books as well as audio and video programs. A true legend, his characterization includes everything from being a crackerjack motivator to a Will Rogers of date. Achievements. Jim Rohn was one of, one of the most appealingly mindful and astute of his generation, writing and producing more than 25 books into audio and video games. Video games? Why video games? Two of the most uh, eminent of which are the art of exceptional living and challenge to succeed, Ron gained global appeal. Jim Rowe was one of the most appealing, mindful and uh, astute of his generation, writing and producing more than 25 books into audio and video... Ah, video programs! Okay, sorry guys, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm... Okay, you have to know that I'm a nerd, so that's the reason maybe I... I just uh, misunderstood. So the appreciation um, uh, he received also came in the form of various awards, such as the CPA Award from the National Speakers Association and many, other, many others. One of these was presented to him by the NSA president of that day, Mark Sanborn, and was called the Master of Influence Award. While presenting, presenting it to Ron, the president asked an audience of 2005, who of you believe that your lives have been influenced through Ron, follow which more than 1,800 ads went up. All right, influence and coaching. Jim Rohn sowed a seed which grew into a beautiful tree. People have been benefiting from the fruit of the tree for many years. His tutoring has altered the lives of millions who had completely lost hope and has sent them up an upward spiral of growing better and better every day. This is related to by Mark Victor Hansen, Sanborn, Anthony Robbins, uh, Tony Robbins, Brian Tracy, and Jack Canfield, just to attempt to name a few. Obviously, six million's name cannot be listed. Okay, yeah, checked. Uh, Jack Canfield, the author of the Chicken Soup book series. Uh, 
Harv Ecker was both an author, an out, author as well as a teacher of Vincent's gen, genius events in Indonesia. Older than coaching the famous author and the lecturer Brian Tracy, we have to talk about Brian Tracy, Ron also mentored Chris Widener, I don't know who is Chris Widener, who not only became a teacher at 12 Pillar Seminars, named after and based on a book that both he and Ron had authored, namely 12 Pillars of Success, which was Ron's last book, but also carry on that which Ron has started by becoming a leadership motivational speaker. Perhaps Ron was the shove of Widener's life. Okay, older than these people, the founder of Herbalife International, Herbalife, do you know Herbalife? Uh, there was a moment, uh, Herbalife was everywhere in any house, was worse than uh, Facebook and Netflix. Uh, but well... It still exists, I'm sure about it. Mark Hughes also great benefited from Ron's company's company, as did Tony Robbins, who also became a speaker. Legacy. Ron has been much remembered, loved, and celebrated even after his death, and has never been forgotten. Oh, people don't really hear about Jim Rohn, honestly, but maybe it's just me. An online tributary video which was dedicated to him has been viewed more than a hundred thousand times and people continue to gain his mentorship with the parts of him that remain recorded inside the world from which he has departed. I'm, I'm, I'm laughing because I just wish and hope this name, uh, Jim Rohn, uh, is, uh, is still on in this world, you know, because he's truly taught a lot of people to achieve success. And um, and now with these new generations, Gen Z, Gen V, uh, Gen uh, Gen everything, uh, I don't know. It's just they are less and less uh, less uh, connect to this beautiful world, right? And uh, these people, people who who died. Uh, people who uh, um, people who live uh, to teach um, about other people well they connect I know it sounds weird to say because I don't want to say but looks like they connect less and less with the new generation so I really hope I really hope I don't know I just hope that this name is still on uh, uh, in the world, and if it's not, hey, this is the podcast. So this is the podcast we're talking about to remind you that, remind you that the there was there was there were beautiful men, beautiful people, beautiful women who used to teach how to achieve success. Uh, there was a particular man in this case, uh, John Ron, who used to teach uh, success to. People like Tony Robbins and Brian Tracy, you know. I mean, it's just a man, right? A man who taught millions of people how to achieve success and uh, how much powerful he is. So, millions are still gaining insight on life because of all that which he has left behind. Summary. Every man makes his own fortune and in order to do so, he must abide by the fundamental principles of life and boost up the spiral of self-realization and consequent improvement. Jim Rohn started off as a dirt poor farm boy in Idaho and dropped out of college. Once he met Shove, he began to learn that he could reach for the stars and show that he could actually achieve that which he dreamed, become a millionaire six years after he was bankrupt. His story turned out to be uh, inspiring for all those who listen it. His brilliant story, telling skills and lessons waiting inside him to be taught to be to to the world, gain him global appeal and help find million people who were very much lost in broad daylight. The minds that he has influenced 
appease him and follow him to date. He's gone but never forget, forgotten. And I just I repeat myself again. I really hope it's true. He's gone but never forgotten. And the legacy he has left behind has been taken up by his students. That's actually true. So we're done. And uh, guys, thank you so much for being here in the Fabio podcast, Journey to Success. And uh, next episode is 12 Pillars of Success of Jim Rohn, right? I think so. Yes, of course, we, we talk already about it. So it's perfect. Thank you so much for being here and see you next Wednesday. Ciao. Here we are. Congratulations. You just finished my entire episode. So the only thing I ask is to take a moment to give Journey to Success a rating. By the way, thank you so much for being here on Journey to Success. I'm very grateful. Thank you and see you next time.